Dinosaurs? It is all over. Definitely need to watch where you're stepping. <laughs> Ew. <sighs> so Nick locked us out of the car. Hey guys, good afternoon. I am here out camping in Dinosaur National Monument. Oh, I'm so excited. So we just got here and we snagged this really beautiful campsite and the, the river, the Green River, is just right down there. So I'll show you that in a second. Incidentally, it is a brown river right now. We got a ton of rain recently for, which is very rare for us here in Utah. <laughs> How beautiful is this? Even though the water is brown, I feel so lucky to be able to just to like sleep right here and hang out on this little private beach and look at the water and the rocks and it's just so beautiful. So I'm gonna take you along on this trip and kind of show you some of the stuff that we do. Today, we're gonna go look at the quarry. It's just an exhibit full of like tons and tons of dinosaur bones. Dinosaurs. How excited are you to go see dinosaur bones? Like on a scale of one to a hundred. A hundred. That's, that's the most enthusiasm we're gonna get out of Nick. That's what you sound like when you're at a 100? 100. <laughs> So we just went to the quarry wall, which was so cool. I just, I can't even imagine how, like so many dinosaur bones all in one spot like that. It's really wild. And now instead of waiting for the shuttle back to the visitor center, we're just gonna take the short little walk back there and look at some more fossils on the way. So, oh, it is very, very hot today, but oh, I got nothing to complain about. It's summer beautiful day and I'm seeing dinosaur fossils I mean that's pretty epic look at this stud <laughs> you can see remnants of the bone like from basically here all the way up to here and where it starts to where it separates the yeah. sand on top of this wow it is so wild that this is like was an animal that was walking around <laughs> it's just so crazy to like put it in perspective, like how big these animals were and that they were like here on this part of the earth. It's just, it's so cool to think about. So Nick locked us out of the car, but I have a tip for you. We have this little thing and it's like this big magnet and I magnet it up underneath the car and inside, it has this key that opens the door only. It doesn't actually start the car. We've had to use this like several times. One of the things that I was kind of concerned about when I first got this was like, would it actually stay underneath the car with like off-roading and all that kind of stuff? And yeah, I've had it under there for years and it's never fallen off in all the things that I've done with it. So definitely a good thing to consider. All I see is your big head. Safe. <laughs> this right here is a golden current tree and you can see these beautiful currents on here. So this tree gets its name from the flowers, not the actual fruits. So Nick and I recently bought an edible plants book and we've been trying to learn and be able to identify a lot of the common ones that we see when we're out around Utah. This tree has tons of them. We're trying to be confident and, and really practice identifying a lot of the edible plants around us that we see a lot. Just because I think it's a good thing to know. If I was ever stranded here, I would kind of know what I can and cannot eat. <laughs> so that's kind of the idea behind that. But 
Yeah, that is probably the biggest golden current tree I've ever seen. Look at this beautiful tree. So gorgeous. I think the trail goes this way. You look so small next to this tree. There is tons of poison ivy on this trail. This is some of the tallest poison ivy I've ever seen. But it is all over. <laughs> Definitely need to watch where you're stepping. <laughs> we just got back to camp after a very adventurous day. I'm pretty tired. And I want to tell you about this snack uh, that I'm having. So it's just trail mix, but I made it at home. And the recipe is up on the blog, so I'll link to it in the description below. It is my new favorite combo. It's a strawberry, banana, coconut blend, and it's got chocolate, bananas, strawberries, cashews, um, almonds, chocolate. Uh, so good. So the recipe will be in the description below. Mmm. Mmm. Those are good. For dinner, I made some pasta salad last night at home. So that's what we're gonna eat for dinner tonight. I just filmed a video all about some no-cook camping meal ideas and this was in the video. So I think that should already be uploaded on the time you watch this one. So I'll link to it in the description below. Pasta salad, it's so hot out. There's a bunch of fire restrictions. So this is just like so easy. It's gonna be really relaxing. We're gonna go down to the water. Forks. All right, let's roll. Jumping from cliffs so high Trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground How's your pasta salad? Even if I'm falling down, Man, I will words. keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. I don't want to be in it. <sighs> Good morning. <sighs> One of the things that I try to do every morning, even when I'm at home, is go outside and feel the sun on my face. I read once, you'll have to fact check me on this, that that really helps reset your circadian rhythm and helps you actually fall asleep better at night. Um, so I always try to do that and just have a couple quiet moments outside in the morning. packed up camp for the day and we're actually at a natural history museum it's a state park in Utah to look at more dinosaur bones and then we're gonna go find a new camp uh, near some water so that we can swim so that's kind of the plan for the next day or two I can't get enough of the dinosaur bones This is our new 
campsite for the night. Got the tent all set up. Luckily, we have some shade, which is gonna be so nice. My hair is a mess. I'm just like, so sweaty. <laughs> but we're gonna make some lunch and then change into our bathing suits and hit the water. I bought a pack raft months ago and it finally arrived. So this is the first time that I'm using it. <laughs> and I'm so, so excited. This is something I've wanted for so long because they're pretty small and so they're packable, like the name implies, and you can kind of go cool places and then blow it up and have a raft. So, ah, <sighs> so excited. There she is. Two boats, oh. come on. <laughs> It is raining and super windy and it's blowing sand everywhere. So we're taking a little break in the tent. Hopefully this is a quick little storm that comes through and then we can still like get out and cook dinner. But yeah, we're just waiting this one out, reading our books. Look, the sun, it is back. Come in, come in. The sun is back, so there's hope. Oh, let's go back out. <laughs> out of the tent. For dinner tonight, I'm making sloppy joes. I'm so excited. It's such an easy meal. Got the onion, tomato sauce, buns, and then some beef over here. And I'm gonna serve it with one of these pre-made salad kits. It's such an easy meal, and I am so excited for it. Let the record show. Nick is helping me with dinner. Well done. 